Hello friends, in my last video, I talked about how to identify a research problem. In this video, we will discuss about the literature review. In this video, we will discuss about the definition of a literature review, purpose of a literature review, objective of a literature review, sources of literature review and which mistakes a researcher should avoid when he write a literature review. So, let's start today's video. Actually, once a researcher has selected a topic, researcher's main challenge is to formulate a research question pro a research question or research problem. It will be easier to select the papers or text to be reviewed. In the end, a well-defined topic will allow you to write a literature review that form a focused and carefully structured outline of what others have done in, the, uh, in your research area. Without a well-defined topic, your literature review is in danger of becoming a useless. I have made a video on how to identify a research problem. If you haven't seen that video until now, then watch it. Actually, if we see the word review, literature review, if we focused on the word only review, at that time, uh, we see that this is the two words actually, view and re. Re means again and view means look. Means we can say that review means look again. Now, what is look again? Literature. Means we can say that literature review is uh, at what has been already written about the topic. Literature review complies various research projects published by recognized scholars and researchers. A literature review is a compilation, cl compilation, classification and evaluation of what other researchers have written on a particular topic. A literature review normally forms part of a research thesis, but it can also stand alone as a self-contained view of a writing of a subject. Now the definition. These are the two important definitions of literature review. Uh, according to the University of Toronto, literature review is an uh, account of uh, account of what has been already established or published on a particular research topic by accredited research uh, re accredited scholars and researchers. And according to the Creswell, a review of literature is a written summary of a journal articles, books and other documents that describes the past and current state of information organizes the literature into topics and documents a uh, documents a need for a proposed uh, proposed study actually it is a literature review it is a second step is to make an extensive review of relevant literature the researcher can survey journals and published or unpublished biographies academic journals also conferences preceding government reports and books for the literature review now, what is the purpose of literature review? Actually, literature review describes the relationship. Actually, literature review describes the relationship of each work to the others under consideration. Means, whatever work is written about your research topic, that means a literature review. And what is the purpose? It is described the relationship between the previous research and your research. For example, if I am a literature, literary, literature student and I am doing a uh, English literature student and I am doing a PhD or research in any literary, uh, literary, uh, literary subject, at that time if I am uh, doing a PhD on Henry Fielding, at that time I will find out all the documents, all the papers, all the textbook related to the Henry Fielding. I will find out the research papers related to the Henry Fielding. Then what is that? That is a literature review. Means I am finding out the literature which is written before my research that is called as a research uh, so that is called as a literature review actually literature review because of the literature review researcher can identify new ways to interpret and shed light on any gaps in previous research means it is a uh, we can say that the because of the literature review researcher can find out the gaps find out the gaps between current research project and before research project means identify new ways to interpret and shed a light on gap in previous research that is a uh, that is the most important purpose means why you are doing a, why, why we study the literature review for because to interpret a, to a to new way of interpretation because literature review give you a new way of uh, interpretation and shed a light on any gaps in previous research literature review points the way Literature review points the way forward for further research also. And it also plays an original piece of literature in the context 
of existing literature now we will discuss about the objectives of a literature review actually literature review broadens the knowledge of researcher about the research problem it also bring better clarity it also bring a better clarity and focus to the research problem and it also helps to improve the authenticity of a research literature review helps to improve the research methodology literature review helps to con uh, contextualize the findings it means how value addition has been done by the researcher to the existing stock of knowledge actually a literature review is a relevant of a literature is an integral part of a research literature review enables the researcher to formulate his problem in terms of a specific aspect of the general area of his interest and that has not been so far uh, so far researched means we can say that through the proper review of literature through the proper review of literature the researcher may develop the coherence between the results of his study and those of uh, the others also a literature review to uh, uh, sorry a literature review not only provides him exposure to a larger body of a knowledge but also equips him with enhanced knowledge to efficiently follow the research problem now what are the sources of the literature review because the sources of literature review is very important actually through uh, liter uh, the sources are we can say that through a paper review of a of the literature the researcher may develop the coherence between the results of his study and those of the others also means we can say that the literature review that uh, literature review is a previous document to a similar related to the phenomena is essential even for the beginning of a researcher also means we can say uh, we can also say that the main sources of a literature review are books journals and internet we can say that the in uh, journals and books in both cases specifically in the journals there can be a gap of a two or three years between the completion of a research project and then published in a journal as with books the researcher need to prepare a list of journal and identifying the literatures relevant to his research but nowadays researchers make uh, extensive use of the internet sources for literature literature survey or literature review and at the same time the researcher should be careful about the authenticity of the con uh, of the content B uh, bibliography given at the end of a project given a clear and complete description of the sources that were used while preparing a report means researcher can take a literature review from books journal and internet most of the time uh, as i told you that in journals in journals it is a gap in journal there is a gap between the two or three years after uh, after your publication is done then you will be published in the journal also and that is same happened with the uh, books also actually there are lots of research papers which is published in the journal that are also the sources that are that are also sources of the um, literature review and books are the best sources for literature review and nowadays internet nowadays internet is a very important tool for literature review nowadays the ai tools also the ai tool also played a very important role into the literature review okay now we will discuss about the mistakes which are the mistakes should a researcher can avoid first remember that your literature review is a highly considered list and that you make a reference to published literature only where necessary therefore your objective in writing a literature is not to do the follow, not to do some important not to do some um, silly mistakes like list as many articles and names as possible try to refer to every piece of literature in the area this is not possible any way means means any literature means uh, you can't uh, uh, you uh, you uh, you can't mention actually uh, you can't mention each and every piece or reference of your pieces should be um, uh, included in your bibliography and remember that when writing the literature review you need to demonstrate that you can scan the literature efficiently and oppressive information carefully it is therefore a bad sign when every paragraph begins with the name of a researchers means i given here like you don't uh, means when you write a literature review don't start your paragraph like 
a researcher said like i given here example about the smith said means never start your uh, never start your paragraph like this means uh, smith said or any researcher's name can be uh, shown there actually literally at the end of uh, your research or end of your research problem or research thesis uh, you should uh, give the bibliography bibliography given at the end of the of a project which is gives a clear and complete description of the sources that were used while preparing the you know, preparing a report when you are writing a literature review at that time to ignore the existing literature may leads to wasted effort on the part of the researcher in my upcoming videos we will discuss about the data collection actually there are two types of data collection primary data collection and secondary data primary data and secondary data so what is the primary data what is the secondary data we will discuss in in my upcoming videos so if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel thank you